Good morning, everybody. This is day two from Singapore Air Show 2024, and we have with us the Vice President and Regional Executive for Asia and India, Lockheed Martin Corporation, Mr. Bill Blair. Welcome, Bill, to ADU's chat room. So lovely to have you here. All right. Thanks, Angie. Great to see you again and to see you here in Singapore. Absolutely. And the fact that we are here at Singapore, Bill, and you have added responsibilities, what does it mean for Lockheed Martin to be here? Well, you know, first off, I'd love to just highlight the fact that it's great to be back in Singapore. I was here two years ago for the show, and but, you know, we're, we're back. There's a huge buzz here, I would say. Uh, there's a lot of energy uh, in Singapore, uh, and, and everyone's back. I mean, we're engaging with customers. We have over 48 of our uh, industrial and and uh, uh, strategic partners that we're meeting with. And so it's a great opportunity for everyone to reconnect, but also to drive engagements that's, that are going to lead to real outcomes. That's great. And uh, we are at the day two, and day two means that you al already had a very busy day yesterday. What, what and who have got attracted to the Lockheed Martin here? Well, you know, I, I think, you know, broadly, I'll say, uh, you know, one of the key messages that we're focused on but it's about capability, and that's 21st century security. Uh, so it's not just about the platforms and systems that are so important, but how can we tie them together and really advance the capability, leveraging AI machine learning to really to advance the strategic deterrent capability we have in the region with like-minded allies and partners. That's what we're focused on. And do you have a big supply chain here in Singapore? Well, we have a large supply chain across Asia, actually. So we, we have partners you know, throughout the region. Uh, so yes, here in Singapore, of course, is an important uh, industrial partner of ours, but, but also when you look across really everywhere we are delivering capability, whether it's a platform or system, we're doing that with and oftentimes through our, our local industrial partners. And you know that very well from our experience together in India, but the same is true really uh, across the board here. And, uh, you know, at the show here, uh, we have a lot of other countries from the region. And what has been the, you know, footfall you've got here till now? Do you have a lot of queries uh, talking about the state of the art equipment Lockheed has, especially the aircraft? Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, our, our customers and our, our partners uh, know us well. And, and so they're, they're, they're very interested to see and understand the capabilities we have, whether it's the F-35, the F-16, C-130J. Uh, when you look across the uh, integrated air and missile defense systems, well, we have PAC-3 MSE, THAAD, Talon, uh, and, and uh, our space systems are, are part of, part of our, our joint all-domain operations solution. And then, of course, our rotary emission systems business. You know well from our experience at ending the MA-60 Romeo, Blackhawk, uh, and also the CH-53K, the heavy lift helicopter. So when we're engaging our customers, both current and future, they'd like to see how do we integrate those capabilities so we have a way to demonstrate the mission solution capability, not just an individual platform and system. And then lastly, I would say it's so important that when we, we talk about delivering new capabilities, how does that overlay and interface and interoperate with the existing sovereign capabilities that our, our, our partners have across the region in terms of customers? Well, that's wonderful. And uh, Bill, the fact that you are uh, as stationed at Japan, uh, we have a huge pavilion here, the Ministry of Defense, the ATLA. Mm. Uh, what are they looking forward to? And here in Singapore, do you have something on the platter for Japan, which has big budgets? At the moment, the defense budgets of both Japan and South Korea are huge. So what does uh, that uh, offer for you here? Well, you know, I'm, I'm pleased and proud to say we've been partnered uh, with Japan for over seven decades. Uh, ATLA is an incredibly important partner, and, and many of the companies that we work with uh, that are part of that uh, ATLA presence here uh, are so important uh, to what we do. And, and so it's you know, very familiar uh, how we've built helicopters, we've built PAC-3 MSE in, in Japan, uh, how, we, how we've uh, helped build you know, the, the F-2 and how we've, we've sought to collaborate on fifth generation technologies. Uh, everything you know, across all domains we are working with and through local partners, and a lot of that very much, uh, you know, under the auspices of Adla and Meti in Japan. But that's just one example. That's just Japan. But the same is true in our other countries where we operate. Doesn't matter, you know, Korea, India, Taiwan, uh, Indonesia, the Philippines, 
uh, of course here in Singapore. Uh, it's such an important part of not just the large companies that are very visible, but the small and medium enterprises and even the startups. Uh, yeah, again, you know well from India, there's a tremendous startup ecosystem across the region here. And so that's part of our 21st century security solution, right? We, we need to work with commercial partners, uh, leverage investments, and really work with startups to see as we disrupt technologies, we want to disrupt and innovate together. And uh, Lockheed has a tradition of, uh, you know, liaising with the academia. And we've seen that in India. So, uh, do you continue with it here in the, uh, this region and, of course, with the countries which are under your charge? Um, you know, I, I think one of the things that, that I didn't mention earlier, uh, to your point, uh, you, you know, we learned this through COVID and, and more recently, is the, how important it is to have a resilient supply chain. Uh, and, and, you know, I talk about working together with ally, la, allies and partners. That, that sounds general, but more specifically, uh, connecting uh, each one of the countries in with, with the large, medium, and small enterprises into our supply chain. And, and to be able to have that resilience and that ecosystem capability, but equally, and probably more important, is to have that sustainment capability here in the region where where it's needed most. And, uh, you know, we have seen your interactions with the universities and uh, when I say yours, the Lockheed Martin's right. interaction with universities and uh, departments for research and development. Correct. So do you have the same model here we in do. the Southeast Asia? Absolutely. Absolutely. We've, we've you know, in, in many different forms and function uh, in any country, um, you know, I talked about startups, but it, it really is further upstream, right? Working with the, the universities, uh, in collaboration, whether it's 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 anticipating solutions uh, or part of even our STEM initiatives that we have, um, it's very much a part of of how we work together. Uh, you're familiar with what we did in India, uh, as an example. Uh, we we have challenge. Uh, grants effectively what we do, challenge opportunities where we engage universities to look at how can we create new solutions for, in, for instance to deliver capability on a C-130J more effectively and that grew out of that university challenge or cooperation that we had in India as one example. Right. So, uh, Bill, it's wonderful. You know, it's day two and the show goes on for the next four days and we are really looking forward to it. I'm sure when we pack off from here, you will have lots more to tell us. Thank you so much for being on ADU's chat room, Bill. Absolutely. Thank you, Sankita.